sneeze Viagra. Uh, <laughs> there's a. Uh, so this is gonna look stupid because I left my. It's a high class problem, but I left my computer in an airport in Maui, and oh, I found God. it. It's gonna come back to me, but it hasn't yet. I hope it's not fucking books in it. But uh, just so I wrote this on my phone, so that's how you're gonna get it. Um, and I did, as always, I have a party on New Year's Day, and I usually write this during the party, so it's only as good as it can be under those circumstances, usually. 20,000 bodies buried beneath Washington Square Park. That's a fact, Jack. Stephen King and Steven Spielberg couldn't get together and make that shit up in their motherfucking dreams. Five million some odd moldering bones, or maybe they're dust by now, Mere memories, the meat of the mortar that binds the city together. Layer upon layer, concrete and steel upon asphalt, upon flag, upon cobble, upon crushed limestone, upon rich bottom land on the banks of Mineta Creek. Throw in the blood of the Lenape, who fought for and lost their tobacco field, the sweat of the half-freed slaves who farmed the land of the blacks, the flesh of the nameless who were laid here to rest, victims of murder and mayhem and the gallows that stood where the arch looms now, and nobody was ever hung in that fucking tree. Indeed, disease took a lot until one epidemic too many shut the potter's field down forever, and it lay fallow and forgotten for a generation until it was covered in crushed gravel and repurposed the military parade ground and the trap of spit shine boots leveled the pitch and laminated the strata and somewhere along the way the creek vanished entirely reduced to a subterranean expressway for rats and then the evening and the morning was the seventh day and washington's arch rose at the foot of fifth avenue and the lenape's worst fears had been realized Washington Square Park isn't the same as it ever was. Nothing in New York ever is. It's in our DNA to invent our, reinvent our personas to suit our environment, changing our spots as need be over and over until we are unrecognizable even to ourselves. When I take my kid to the park, I'm the only real parent present in the playground. Used to have a dog passed away a couple of years ago. It's all walkers and me and Bo and a bunch of other people's dogs. But this piece of real, real estate has endured in one form or another for the better part of 400 years now. It survived famine and plague and riots and vermin, the war on folk music. And though any plumber can tell you that it's a fact as well that shit runs downhill, I have every expectation that we will survive the right stock up at the other end of Fifth Avenue. How's everybody feeling? Yeah.